what is going on guys grant the go here back with another video and in today's video guys we are going over the most highly requested video on this channel we are showing you all how to stream fortnite mobile So obviously there are plenty of apps out there where you can stream Fortnite Mobile straight from your device. Now with that comes a lag and a lot of it just heats up. It's very, it's, it's just terrible for people that don't want lag and everything like that. And it just doesn't make the stream look the highest quality as it can. So with this tutorial, I want to let you guys know that it does come with a price. So I know I've said to you guys in my streams, which I just ended now, I've told you guys that it's, it's going to be pricey. So I didn't know if I was exactly wanting to make the video because I didn't know if you guys were willing to, to spend the money. But if you guys are willing to spend the money, this is for the video. This is for you guys. So I'm going to go over what you need right now. So first what you're going to need is obviously a laptop or a PC, which I'm recording off of right now. So the second thing you're going to need is an Elgato. So right here, this is the HD60, as you guys can see right here. And the HD60 is one of the most, uh, HD60S is the updated Elgato version that comes in around $200. So with this, obviously that is expensive. $200, not everybody just has $200 lying around and it's hard to spend that just to start up a YouTube channel. So with that, there is actually one that's an HD, which I have been using for a while, which you guys can definitely use. It's it runs your phone in HD and everything like that until 60 FPS comes to mobile. There's really no point in getting this, except for it is a little bit better resolution when I show you guys how to actually screen capture it. But with the Elgato HD, you guys can still screen record 1080p. Alright, so the most important thing you guys cannot forget out of this list, right here, is the AV adapter. This is what- this is everything, guys. This is literally- what what makes this work so with the av adapter there's an hdmi port on the back as you can see right here so with this hdmi port you can go ahead and plug in any hdmi port into here and then it comes out of this lightning port which is going to plug in to your device to display your screen so now that you have all that stuff or you're looking into having that stuff or you don't have that stuff but you want to eventually get that stuff we're going to go over everything right here so on the import of the elgato hd or hd60 Personally, I have the HD60. So, as you guys see, this is the import. So, what you're going to want to do is the HDMI that does have the AV adapter connected to it. So, the one that you plug in the HDMI to, as you can see here, it has the HDMI and the AV adapter. The one that you plug into here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and find the other end. So, you're going to take the other HDMI end and go ahead and plug it into the import, or that's the out. Plug it into the import right here. And go ahead and that's that right there. So what you're going to want to do is have that in the input because obviously your input is your device right here. So now that you have the out, you have it open. It's obviously not going to go anywhere because you have nothing to plug it into. You don't need to. So since you have that, what you're going to want to do is now find your power cord. So this power cord right here is going to come along with the Elgato HD60. I'm going to try to focus this. So this cord right here does come with the HD60 and uh, or the HD. I think the HD is a little bit different, but the HD60 right here. So what you're going to want to do next is place your power cord into the Elgato right here. And you're going to see it light up like this. So now that it has lightened up and it is ready to go, what you're going to want to do now is go ahead and plug in the other end, the USB, into your PC so it actually connects. So once you guys do download the Elgato Game Capture app, you are going to be confronted with this screen. So this screen is the Elgato Game Capture app where it is loaded up once you plug in your, obviously, like I said before, your power cord. You can go ahead and boot this Elgato Game Capture up and it'll show a signal. So obviously you're going to want to have the AV adapter plugged into your phone to display it on your screen right here. So it is currently displayed. You guys can download. All these links are down in the description. But yeah, it's currently displayed right here. So as you can see, you are literally looking at my phone screen right now. Okay guys, so after doing that, what you're going to want to do is download Streamlabs OBS. Once again, in the description, Streamlabs is an easy way to screen record and stream your own, like, computer and stuff to YouTube or anywhere to Twitch, stuff like that. So, that's what you're going to want to do now. So, you're going to want to boot up Streamlabs 
and it'll walk you through a tutorial. You're going to want to go to settings. I'm obviously not going to expose my uh, stream key, but your stream key is going to be found at the bottom of your uh, live stream dashboard. So your stream key right here can be found at the bottom of your live dashboard. You can go ahead and search up youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard. And at the bottom, you'll find your stream key. You're going to click reveal, copy it, and then paste it into Streamlabs OBS over here. So it is currently being displayed over here. So now what you're going to want to do is go to OBS. And to actually display it, you want to click over here, add source, and click window capture. Now after clicking window capture, you can add add existing source or add a certain capture. And as you can see right here, this is the capture right here. So there are going to be black bars. And the way to remove that is to hold alt. So holding alt actually crops it. So you can crop each side as you can see on the screen right now. So you are watching me crop this screen. And after cropping this, you can go ahead and make it full screen. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make it full screen. Click fit to, uh, fit to screen. And as you can see right here, it's good to go. I can play Fortnite, move around on it. And this is how I'm all set up. So I am currently recording my Fortnite mobile with my face cam and it's all good to go. This is how you do it guys. It's really simple. It's just whether you're willing to pay the price. So although it is expensive, trust me guys, it's a great investment to get an Elgato because it's a way better quality. You can use a face cam as well. I currently use the C920. I'll link that down in the description. But all you need once again is the AV adapter right here, the white adapter. Search it out, AV lightning adapter. Then you want to get an HDMI cord as well as the Elgato. And of course, you need a PC or a laptop. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I hope you guys did find out how to actually stream now with the Elgato because I'm specifically doing it for Fortnite Mobile. And uh, yeah, as, as long as you're willing to pay the price, you guys are going to go with this. Just to let you guys know, I won't be streaming Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because I will be gone. But this is pre-recorded and uploaded probably Friday when you are seeing this. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later.